Let's start the video and take a look at, I don't know why my light is on. Okay, my light's not on. Okay, so I want to start the video and just by looking at this design over here. Do you see that design? The way you have one, two, three, four area squares. The way you have the bottom triangle or the two eyes and the mouth almost looks like a monkey and the two eyes and a mouth. Take a look at it. Does it not look like a monkey? or two faces, one on each side. But in the center is a separate face, almost like the fox, the owl. I can't describe it. What I'm going to show you is this design over here and how that design is made. Have you ever seen this design before? Because this design is only one part of the total design. I do not remember where it is. I'm not sure if it's on the Zodiac. Um, and sometimes you'll see associated with some of these designs this. Does that mean this de actual design does come in one piece? Or is it two piece? Is it a twisted rope, right? The DNA, the twisted DNA. Okay. And at the same now what happens is this is what happens. This comes in. This is where your eight. You see where your X is? Create your eight. So what your X in Roman numerals is ten, showing that nine eleven is actually and this part is showing you inside the center. A straight line shows the center. Two straight lines can be showing one of two things. One side or and the other side and then connecting both worlds together. So you see we had the way we have it's sort of moved over, right? Now it's moved over and we sometimes see this. Is it talking because it's this side and that side? And this is talking center and right. There's an, there's an expression in every design. A design came up because of reason. What that reason was, I'm trying to determine it. But between us all, the reality of life, okay, comes in to the creation of existence. Here's four areas. These two are two triangles. Triangle here, triangle here. Uh, is that where I see the monkey face? Um, wow, that eight is not done this way. The eight that's that's on here, you know, when I was in math class, the teacher used to say, do it better, do it better. The actual eight is right over here. So when you see that eight, right away you see that one in here, the same way I drew it here, and the one in here, the same way I drew it there. You have the X in the center of both of them. These X's came with it. It's not the X's I created. So now what you have is you have X, X, X. Let me see, did I get, did I get that properly, X, X? Well, it's not really a very good, uh, what's it called? But that would be um, three X's as the 24th letter would be 72. Three X's as the 24th letter, two and four is six. We'd have 18. The reverse of X is three. So we'd have three, three, three equals to nine. RH, we use a lot of H's, K, H, R, H. K and R, for some reason, come together. R and H, rhinoceros, the one horn. Um, what this is, is 24 and 3 is 27, the reverse alphabet. 27, 27, 27 equals to 81. And then the leap of this, the leap of this will create 96. And the, the leap of this will create 12. Why do I say the leap? is that we use three years and then one year to reconnect. And um, that's basically what it is. But my question is, to the leap, it's like this. We start off on that side, and we go one... We don't... Do we start off here? And this will be one half turn and a half. 
and another half turn and a half, or does it go one? Start here, and there's goes one, two, and then the third one will be on that side. In our world, it takes four to reunite, right? On the fourth one, we complete it. Like that little rocking. Anyways, um, that's um, basically what it is. I'm trying to take a look inside. We have the four areas over here. Not all the same areas. It has the box that's inside of it. It's got the figure eight. It's got the monkey faces on one side, monkey face, and then it's got the dead center. I like to call that the wolf. And you see the way it's on an angle because of the height and the embevelment, the, the angle, it shows that it's, that it's going like this. Well, so is the tombstone, right? But if I put this on the angle of the tombstone, it looks like it's still going as it's going through something. Raphael 7286. And a constellation of Pegasus. I just made a little addition to my um, floor yesterday, and I'm impressed myself with the way it came out. Um, you can look at this the way any way you want, as the dragon. I can put another eye over here if I want, another face over here, dragon, whale. And uh, the other piece was uh, that piece right there. Thank you for watching this video. That's European, England, something, can't remember.